Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to upload images to Firebase using the cloud storage service. And for the scenario we're just going to create a basic profile page and create an image view that we can use as a profile picture. So as you can see here I've just made a really simple profile page and you can make one similar, it just has to have an image view in it, that's all you need. Now guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do is come to our image view here and just change the ID to say profile picture. And then we're going to jump back to our main activity and I'm just going to click find action and we're going to look for Firebase here. From the drop down menu we just want to select storage and we're just going to click this upload button here and then we're going to connect to Firebase. Now we can open our browser and we should be able to create a new project. So let's just call this profile page tutorial and disable Google Analytics. Once the project is finished building we can just click connect and then go back to Android and we're going to add the cloud storage to our app next. So let's just accept those changes and wait for it to build. Then we can quickly jump back to our browser and we're going to click on storage here. At the top of the page will be a get started button so we're just going to click that and then it should show us our rules here so we're just going to click next for now and we're going to click done as well. So this page here is basically where all of the images will be uploaded to and if we jump back to Android we can get started on the code. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a private image view and this is going to be for our profile picture. So we'll just call this profile pic and down below in the onCreate method we'll just find it by the ID and we set the ID to profile pic as well. After that we want to just set a onClick listener for our image view so that when the user clicks it they can change their profile picture. So let's just set up a simple onClick listener here. We need to create a method that allows the user to select an image from their uh, device. So let's just create an image called Choose Pictures. And inside here we need to create a new intent that's going to open up their gallery in their phone. To do this we need to set the type for our intent. So let's just say image dash and we're going to say star. After that we need to set the action of our intent, so we're just going to say intent dot and if you search through the options there should be one called action get content. Then we could just start activity for a result and inside here we need to pass in our intent and the number one. Which is the request code, then we want to create the on activity result method. So this can be done by pressing control O and you can search it here in the pop up. And once you found it, you can just hit enter and it should create it for you. And inside this function, we need to check if the request code is equal to one. And if that's true, we also need to check if the result code is equal to result OK. And then we need to ensure that the data is not equal to null to make sure that they actually selected an image. And if that's all true, then we can assign the selected image to a variable called image URI. So let's just come back up to the top of the class and define this variable. So we can just make it private and it's going to be of type URI. Once that is done we can actually update our UI and set the image view as the image that they selected. So if we come back down here to our activity result we can say profile pic dot set image URI and pass in the image. The next step is to set up our Firebase storage and storage reference objects that we need to use to upload the image. So let's just define these and then inside our onCreate method we can just instantiate our storage objects by simply using the getInstance method. Then we can use our storage object to get the storage reference that we need. Then in our onActivityResult method we can create a new function called uploadPicture. So let's do that. And then we want to jump back to our Firebase Assistant to use some of the uh, code snippets that they offer us that we can just copy and paste into this function. So it should be under the upload a file option. So once we paste this in the first thing that we need to do is delete the URI file because we already have our image selected. 
then we need to change the storage reference to use the one that we defined and um, we're going to just remove the end of this file path and create a random key that we can uh, add to the end of our file name. So let's create a final string and we're just going to equal that to a uh, random UUID so we can just use that method as well and just say dot two string at the end and then we can add that to our file path. Once that's done we can change the file that's being uploaded to our image and then inside the on success we are just going to create a snack bar. So this is just a small text box that pops up on the bottom of the screen and it's just going to be like an alert to say that the image has been successfully uploaded. For the first parameter we're just looking for the android.r.id content and then we can type in the actual text that we want to appear in the snack bar and after that we're just going to say how long we want it to show for. So we're just going to say length long and then we can actually say dot show. Then in the on fail we're just going to print out a toast to say that it wasn't successful and that the image hasn't uploaded. So this is in case something went wrong. So it's very similar to a snack bar, we're just going to type in fail to upload and length and say dot show. So now I want to just add a loading bar to show um, the percentage that our upload is on. And to do that we're just going to use a progress dialog object. So we can just create a new one here and we're just going to pass in this which is our context and now we can just set the title of our progress bar to say that the image is being uploaded and after that we can just use the dot show method so now we need to add a progress listener to our upload task so we're just going to say add on progress listener and all this code should be automatically generated if you just type in new and it should be on progress listener. Inside this section we want to get the percentage of the upload so to do that we can use the task snapshot to get the amount of bytes that have been transferred so far and then we can multiply that by 100 and then we can simply divide that number by the total amount of bytes to get an overall percentage. Once we have this we can set the message of our progress bar to reflect that number and this will automatically be updated as the image is being uploaded. So I'm just going to cast our double to an integer and add a percentage sign to the end of the string. And inside our success listener and our failure listener we want to just dismiss the progress bar so that it doesn't show once the upload is finished. Once we have that done we want to just jump back to our browser and we're just going to change the rules so that you don't have to check for authentication. So this will just allow anyone to read or write to our storage. So let's just publish those rules. And now the app should be ready to run so let's just give it a test here. So you can see we have a profile picture if I click this we get prompted to our gallery and if I select an image the progress bar should be shown and it shows the loading and once it's finished the snack bar is shown at the bottom of the screen so it all seems to be working fine. So that's pretty much it for the tutorial guys if you have any questions just leave it down in the comments below and if you enjoyed it just leave a like and don't forget to subscribe.